Look, I got the notion that uh, they mouth is open and uh, all that's just talking when uh, they ain't comparing to me. Yo, YouTube, what's up? I'm Tim. This is the Cash Kelly and AC Sports Report. Ricky Rubio, long awaited, is finally coming to America to play with the Minnesota Timberwolves. And while it appeared for a few years there, he was trying to lobby to the point where he can maybe get traded to a bigger market, a team like the Knicks, someone in that span of the world. Uh, he won a championship with his team in Barcelona the other day. And I think basically he feels he's accomplished what he had to in that league. Now he is ready to come back over to America, or to come over to America, I should say, and uh, play for the Minnesota Timberwolves. I have a few questions, though, and the first one was, why didn't he just wait to enter the NBA draft? I mean, I understand that you know, or you he thought he probably would have been drafted by a more exciting team, and the bottom line was he didn't. But I think at the same time, what you got to look at is there's how many teams and you could fall. And it, it was probably just an ill-advised move to enter the draft as early as he did. As far as potential, he's got a ton. I mean, he's got one of the probably the most underrated player in the game on his team in Kevin Love, who's a rebounds monster. I think what he needs to get better at, though, is, is scoring. I think he averaged something like 4.6 points a game and his Spanish team, and I think maybe he wasn't playing quite as much and everything like that. So I think that in the end, having more time at that number one position and having less, probably being the number two guy on that team, is going to allow him to have more shots at being successful there, get more shots, be able to take a few more risks. And I think the bottom line for him is he's going to be somewhere in the range of like 12, 13 points a game next season, and I think assist-wise, he only averaged like six six assists, but if I'm correct, the minutes weren't real great for him. So I think if he can get some more minutes over there, he could be something like a Steve Nash and maybe even better. I think the tools are there assist-wise. I think I've, I mean, the small video clips I've seen of him, this guy makes some incredible passes. So I'm excited to see what he can do. I think he could either, he could be the next Steve Nash or he could be a complete flop. And I think we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with, with Ricky Rubio here. The bottom line is when he comes here, when he plays that first game, it's going to be exciting. He's going to be fun to watch. And he could be one of the next great point guards in this league. I'll see you guys later.